We know the Merit-Based Incentive Payment Program, or MIPS, will begin measuring surgeons' performance in 2017, which will impact their payment in 2019. Given that 2017 is right around the corner, I have heard that many have expressed concern that CMS did not publish the final rule until October the 14th, 2016. And per the MACRA statute, the MIPS program starts January the 1st, 2017. That doesn't give surgeons much time to understand the law and then make plans for how to best participate. Yes, there was so much pushback that CMS made an announcement prior to the final rule that providers would have a transition year and be able to pick their pace for 2017. To provide some more background, here is a CMS schematic that illustrates the timing of the first performance year. The performance year begins on January 1st, 2017 through December 31st, 2017, and data must be submitted to CMS by March 31st, 2018. Following the data submission, CMS will provide feedback to surgeons about their performance, then surgeons will receive a payment adjustment beginning on January 1st, 2019. Can you tell me a little bit more about how surgeons can pick their pace for participation in MIPS? Sure. As I mentioned, CMS has determined 2017 as a transition year, which means a transition from the old CMS incentive programs, including PQRS, Meaningful Use, and the Value Modifier, to the new MIPS program. CMS provides four options in 2017, allowing for all levels of participation, including submit something, submit a partial year, submit a full year, or don't participate. And as a reminder, practices may choose to participate in an advanced alternative payment model, but I will just be talking about the MIPS program, where the vast majority of surgeons will be in the early years of the quality payment program. So, Option one, submit a small amount of data and avoid the 4% penalty. Can you be more specific as to how CMS defines a minimum amount? CMS has made it extremely easy to avoid a negative payment adjustment, and most providers can do so with very little burden. To avoid the penalty, surgeons can test or experiment with any of the three performance categories, including submit one quality measure for any amount of time in 2017, one improvement activity, or the required base score measures for the ACI component of MIPS. So Jill, what advice do you have for surgeons who want to participate in MIPS, but are not ready to do so starting on January the 1st, 2017? These surgeons can report for a partial year. This means they can report for 90 consecutive days at any time during 2017. So, if surgeons are not ready on January 1st, they can start any time before October 2nd. This may earn them a positive adjustment depending on performance. And this is a critical difference in MIPS compared to programs in the past, which were pay for reporting. Your adjustment in MIPS will be determined by your performance, not just for reporting. CMS is trying to incentivize providers to track and improve their care. What about those providers who are well familiar with these programs and anticipate being fully prepared to begin on January the 1st, 2017? Full participation in MIPS means that clinicians should at least meet the following criteria. Report six quality measures, report four medium-weighted or two high-weighted improvement activities, and report advancing care information measures for the full year, starting on January 1st, 2017. And again, I want to stress that your payment adjustment will be determined on your performance and not the length of time you report. So, in theory, if you report for a full year, you have more opportunity to improve and increase your performance, which is the best way to earn the maximum positive adjustment. However, you could report for less than the full year and still receive a positive adjustment, as illustrated in this schematic from CMS. Though it seems extremely easy to submit some data and thus avoid the penalty, what about those surgeons who choose to not participate at all? Surgeons who do nothing will automatically receive a 4% penalty to their Medicare Part B payments. 
Thanks, Jill. It certainly seems that CMS is doing what they can to be flexible while still complying with the MACRA law. Can you summarize the options again for us, please? Sure. Here is a summary of the various options and timing. Test the MIPS program to avoid the penalty, which means surgeons just have to submit something in any one of the MIPS categories. Or participate for part of the year for 90 consecutive days to potentially earn a positive adjustment. Or for those who are ready to start on January 1st, 2017, participate for the full calendar year and potentially earn a positive adjustment. And last, do nothing and automatically receive a 4% penalty.